Hi, I'm Tracy Dill and I want to welcome you to Partners in Care Boutique in Pasadena, Maryland. We have a great show for you today, so don't go away. To top of the morning. My name is Chris Board, and I am joined today with Sandy Jackson, uh, one of the organizers for Partners in Care. How are you doing, Sandy? I'm doing great, thanks. Well, thank you very much for joining us. I'd love to get more uh, involved with your organization, Partners in Care, but could you give us a brief uh, overview, maybe when it was started, how you guys were organized? It was started 23 years ago, um, and it's uh, grown a lot since then, I must say. But we are a, a service exchange organization for elderly people who are trying to remain in their own home safely. Uh, we do non-medical things like transportation and um, repairs around the house, things that you used to be able to do for yourself and can no longer do. Uh, we do um, what we call member care, which is a big part of our organization now. It's really growing, and that's advocating for people who need help with, say, their taxes or, or navigating a health care system or basically getting them the resources that they need to the right people. And um, basically anything that people might need just to stay safely in their own home as long as it's not medical. It definitely seems like a wonderful organization reaching out and giving back to others while still being able to take advantage of those services. Mm -hmm. What's the best way if I was wanting to get involved in the organization? What kind of process would I have to go through? Just call the office. And uh, you can go online first and see what it's all about. That would be partnersincare.org. But then you could call the office, and um, the phone number is 410-544-4800. And, and you'll probably get to talk to Helen, our wonderful receptionist, or any of her helpers can get you started in the right direction and uh, head you to the person that you want to talk to. It's definitely nice. I love working with local organizations to where I can call someone and I don't have to speak to a computer and they've got a nice first name like Helen. Helen, <laughs> Helen is our wonderful woman at the front desk, yes. And we, you never have to talk to a computer at Partners in Care because we understand we are dealing with an, organi with a, a, an aid group particularly that is not used to doing that. And yeah. so we don't want that to happen. You will always get to talk to somebody unless That's you call after hours and then you get the the tape and, and we'll call you back the next day. So Make sure you're calling during business hours, that's right, for sure. Right. Now what Eight area five. do you uh, service in specifics? All of Anne Arundel County. Anywhere in Anne Arundel, anywhere in Anne Arundel County that you live uh, and actually we try to blur the lines into Baltimore a little bit around the Curtis Bay, Brooklyn Park area because we understand that there are a lot of people there who don't get services from Baltimore City and don't necessarily get services from Anne Arundel County so we try to do that there too. It is very important to be as inclusive as possible and help as many people as possible. Um, we were talking earlier, you would mentioned that Partners in Care actually has an upscale boutique? Yes, that's in uh, Pasadena, Maryland. It's uh, at the intersection of East West Highway and Route 2. Uh, we're actually hoping to uh, unify our, our uh, operation with putting the offices and the uh, boutique under one roof in the near future. We haven't quite figured a way to do that yet, but we, we had it that way for a while. We really liked it a lot, um, but then we outgrew it. So okay. we had to separate. Well, it's wonderful. I believe we do have a clip. Here's a look at the upscale boutique Sandy was talking about. Good morning, my name is Monica, and we're here at Partners in Care, located in Pasadena. I am a volunteer here, and have been a volunteer for a number of years. The people that work here are terrific, like-minded, good-spirited, passionate about what they uh, do, and those who donate are happy to have a place where they can bring items and know that they'll get repurposed. Uh, if you are looking for it, we probably have it. If it's been invented since 1960, I'm pretty sure we have it. I really don't know what else to tell you. Uh, tell us an anecdote of how long have you been with Partners in I don't even know. <laughs> so a long time. It's been it's been a number of years, and I. But um, 
How did you get involved? I got involved, actually, um, my oldest son had been a Partners in Care volunteer way back in high school, and um, I had toyed with the idea. I had known some of the people in the organization, and they kept dropping hints like, stop in, you know, go for a training, see if, if it's the right thing for you. We think it would be a good fit. And so finally I just jumped on it and, and did it, and I have not regretted it. Like I say, the people I work alongside are just absolutely fabulous. And um, you asked for an anecdote. The only anecdote I can think of is, and that's because I'm sitting here with all this fine china. Uh, I had a gentleman a couple of years ago come in, and he found pieces of crystal, some for his wife, some for his sister, some for his mother, some for his favorite aunt, and he bought all of these pieces, and I wrapped them very carefully, and I put them in a box. When the transaction was finished, I told him, put it on the floor of the front seat of your car. He said, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He goes out, pulls out into the traffic on Ritchie Highway, and within moments you hear brakes screaming, and fortunately no dull thud afterwards and he came back in the store a few moments later and he said the screaming brakes were mine and I said and where was the box of china and crystal he said I put it on the back seat of the car and I said and how much will we be replacing he said just the one piece he said but you know what he said you're right he said put it on the floor of the front seat of your car he said they saw him um, a few months later, he was picking up something else, something non-breakable, and he said, don't worry, it's going on the floor of the front seat of the car. So anyway, that's, that's my only anecdote. at all. I guess I can uh, get a new suit for the holidays, so it would be nice. Right. <laughs> you always have to get there when, when your size is there, whatever. It's like every other thrift shop, and you never know what you're going to find, but you find some. You know, I have found some real bargains. There. Running through the racks definitely would uh, take advantage Absolutely. of that. Now, uh, I believe we're going to take a break, so join us next for more Top of the Morning. top of the morning. I'm Chris DeBoard. We're here with Sandy Jackson who's working with Partners in Care now with the service organization. How does that work as far as the, the reciprocity you were talking about? Um, it's an, uh, uh, what we call a service exchange organization. Everyone is a member. So those people who are receiving services are members. The people who are giving services are members. That means that every hour you volunteer is banked in, a, in our computer huh. and you can then use those hours to exchange for services you might need at a later date. Or if you don't need them, don't think you'll ever need them, you can just give them to someone who might need hours of their own and they can't actually do anything right now. So for instance, I have done a lot of volunteer work with, with partners, so I have a lot of hours in the bank, and 
when I had my hip replaced recently, I couldn't drive for a couple of weeks afterwards, and yet I still needed to get to my uh, PT, and I still had other things I needed to do so I could call partners and get a ride, and I didn't have to depend on my family or, or friends. So. No, that's an awesome way. I mean, be able to kind of pull from your own hours that you've already uh, invested into the company and then helping as far as giving back. So it's people helping people. It's powerful stuff. Now, as far as partners kicking back and having a little fun, you guys have an event coming up, I believe, mid-November? We're great at partying, yes. We are, <laughs> we're, we're a great party organization, but we, in the middle of all the hard work, we have to uh, figure out a way to get all the, the uh, hard work uh, paid for. So right. that's it is a nonprofit. And we rely heavily on uh, people's donations and the thrift shop, which we just saw, is a very big part of that. Um, all the money that the thrift shop uh, makes goes into the organization. Wow. And, and it's, it's a lot. Um, but this, this is our big fundraiser for the um, year, and that's coming up on November 18th. It's okay. our bull and oyster roast. It's right around the corner at Michael's 8th Avenue in Glen Burnie. It is... Uh, from 6 to 11 in the evening. We'll have a band, the New Sensations, and they are sensational, believe me. <laughs> they are, everything their name implies, great dance band. They have a whole following of their own that will, you know, they, they just go where the band goes, which is great for us. Um, but also food, Michael's does a great job on the food for that evening. They uh, will have pit beef and oysters a couple of different ways salads and baked beans and potatoes and sauerkraut and, and uh, chicken, fried chicken, and uh, just about almost anything you could want. Plus beer and wine and soda, it's all, um, it's all guaranteed in one price. Well, for food, drink, and music, that's actually a whole lot. Of, for a little bit of money, I don't yeah. think I'd be able to get that anywhere else in the area. Actually, no, you can't. And, uh, <laughs> so that's, we're hoping that we'll have a big uh, showing for that. And we have a silent auction at the same time, running simultaneously. So there's a lot of good stuff in the auction already. We're a month out, but we, we already have a four day trip uh, to Costa Rica, or, or uh, at Costa Rica. If you get yourself there, you can <laughs> stay there for four days. And uh, like, likewise, the Memorial Day weekend, a four day weekend at Bethany Beach in a five oh, bedroom, nice. three bath house. So any of those, and we have uh, a half-day fishing charter that's been donated. Uh, there's all kinds of good stuff. So it's also smaller things for people who don't want to go that the big, uh, big money. They don't have the deep pockets. Right, right, right. <laughs> now, if I had questions about the Bowling Oyster Roast or anything regarding Partners in Care, who could I call, where could I call, or where could I go? Call the office, 544-4800, area code 410, or go online. Uh, if you want to know particularly about the Bull and Oyster Roast, go to Facebook, do Partners in Care Bull and Oyster Roast 2016 event, under the events, and all the information will be there. Or you can just check the Partners in Care Facebook page. Uh, those of you who do Facebook all the time know how to do that. I'm a little <laughs> less knowledgeable on that, but uh, the Partners in Care Dot org website is up and there will be information there also so there's lots of ways to find out. With that many resources there's definitely no excuse not to go to this great event supporting a wonderful cause. And with that we're going to be taking a break so tune in next for more Top of the Morning. Oh, by the way, if you have a young uh, high schooler, or perhaps even younger, but definitely if you have a youngster in high school and they are looking to get service hours, please ask them to come into Partners in Care. We have a variety of tasks, not just here in the store, but in the office as well, and it's a great chance for them to connect to the community around them, and for the community around them to know them and support them too. So it's just a thought, not a sermon. As I mentioned, that's how I got involved. It was through my son. And welcome back to Top of the Morning. I'm Chris Board here with Sandy Jackson, representing Partners in Care, an organization that services Anne Arundel County located in Pasadena and Upper Glen Burnie. 
Well, we're all over the, the county, but our office is in Pasadena on Ritchie Highway. Right? Wonderful. Well, we've learned a lot more about this great organization, but I'd like to know more about you, Sandy. How did you get involved with Partners in Care? Well, um, I actually am one of the founding mothers. Uh, we like to call ourselves the founding mothers. <laughs> There's three, there were three of us, and uh, we both, and we all three of us finished up our master's degrees at the same time in, in 1990, I believe it was. And, uh, you know, like every student said, well, now what? Uh, you know, and uh, so we wanted, we were all in gerontology or okay. health of some kind. And so we decided to look around the county and see what services needed to be done. And, we did, and you know, Anne Arundel County has a wonderful Department of Aging. They do a lot. They do a, an awful lot. But it's a big county, and funds are always limited. So we went to them and we said, if you had your brothers and you needed help with something, what would that be? And they said, transportation. There's never enough transportation for elderly people. We just, you know, it's hard to, to provide it all. And so that's where we started. And we, we checked around and we found this service exchange concept and, and another uh, in, in Delaware, they were doing this very thing. And so we went over and studied them a bit in Dover and um, decided to pattern partners on that. And that part is history. I mean, it, it just grows and grows and grows. This year, 2016, every week we provide 229 rides wow. for seniors in, in just in Anne Arundel just County. Just in Anne Arundel County. Just in Anne Arundel County. Some of them go into Baltimore. Some of them go out of Anne Arundel County for their health care, but they live in Anne Arundel County. That's incredible. And those yeah. numbers, I mean, just you multiply that by 50. You're looking at tens of thousands of rides a yeah, year. Yeah. It's a lot. It's, it really is a big, big thing. Um, and then we went into the Repairs for Care program, uh, again, at the uh, request of one of the, uh, the Department of Aging women uh, said, you know, we can't ask, that the Department of Aging cannot ask for a grant because they're a public entity. Okay. But we could as a nonprofit, and it took money to get this repairs with, uh, with care off the ground, like everything does. So we went to um, the United Way and took our, our quest to them, and they saw that it was a good thing. and. Uh, so now we have the repairs with care, and this year, and every year, every week rather, they provide 15 repairs to somebody in the, in the area, who, some elderly person who's living in their own home and has a need. So um, that part is, is perking along also. And then the member care part is, is growing, as I said, with leaps and bounds, I think they now, they, they touch about 24 people a week or something like that with help that, uh, you know, just providing them with uh, the resources to answer a question that they have. That's incredible that this yeah. organization has so many different branches that they can mm -hmm. use just to help people just in Anne Arundel County. Yeah. I mean, between member care and offering rides, and obviously, as you said, the number is astronomical for our you know, location. But again, with the boutique, I mean, you, you add that in there and the donations. I think we still have another clip. Let's take a look at that wonderful location. I almost always find excellent bargains at great quality. Um, I just wished I lived closer. Yeah, compared to other shops, I like coming to the boutique 
they have a great variety. I don't think there's a category that of items that they don't have um, a niche for. One thing I have noticed over the years, the shop has expanded and expanded. They actually moved and even in this new location at one time there were offices here but now the um, property is totally dedicated to the boutique and so there's no limits to what they can carry. Um, one of the favorite items I purchased here was an alpaca sweater. It was brand new. It gave no signs of ever being worn and I was able to purchase that at their price for $10. It's a gorgeous sweater, um, back, a black background with vividly colored uh, animal motifs woven into it. It has um, numerous colors, so it goes with most any um, solid color I choose to wear under it. And that, by far, is my most favorite, also my best bargain. I have been involved with Partners in Care for about 10 years. I do uh, rides for partners that need to get to doctor's appointments, get to the hairdresser, go grocery shopping. I just really enjoy my time. With the people that I give rides to, um, I meet a lot of very interesting people and I find it a very rewarding experience. It's a great way to volunteer and uh, enrich someone else's life, but at the same time to enrich your own life. holidays coming up there's already a couple items in that store I'd love to get my uh, hands on. <laughs> and I'll have one day and it's probably very close if, if yeah just about a month out um, they will have one day when they just go in and they take everything out and just fill it with Christmas stuff. Really? And they have um, it's amazing I have very little to actually physically to do with the boutique but the women there who run it and, <laughs> and they are fantastic they know what they're doing and they have just like a whole bin, a whole uh, storage unit full of Christmas stuff that they're going to have out there, and it'll, it'll really be great. Your you know? staff is definitely doing a great job with that store. Well, looking to wrap this up, is there anything last things you'd like to add? No, just uh, come support our Bull and Oyster Roast. It's, it's <laughs> going to be fun. It, it really is a fun event, and you can uh, support a good cause at the same time. So please come out, and, uh, and the boutique. <laughs> Go do your Christmas shopping. Well, for more information on Partners in Care, feel free to visit www.partnersincare.org. Or if you have any questions, go to the website and then give them a call. Obviously, Helen or any other wonderful individuals will pick up the phone there. Right. And with that, this has been Top of the Morning. My name is Chris DeBoard here with Sandy Jackson. Tune in next time to another exciting show. Thanks, Chris. You know, to shop and everything. So, like, can you say how much you enjoy working here? Is that like... Oh, I love it, yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, Marion, you want to say something? Yeah, Marion, talk. Yes, I really yeah. got it. Talk, Marion. Listen, these ladies and, and Jeff, whoever is, whoever is, ladies are really sweet and they're really nice and they treat you great and um, I'm, I'm so glad they let me come. <laughs> it's a joy to work. <laughs> it's a joy to work. That's a good way to go. <laughs> Alright, and how about you two ladies? You're, you're happy to have found friends here and you're doing a wonderful service to the community? Come on, ladies, speak up. Oh, I just like the ladies and the fact that I'm helping someone. Very good. I like to volunteer because it gets me out of the house and gets me to associate with people. 
doing good. And it's like a win-win because you're doing a great cause and, and they need somebody to do this, right. you know. So this is a lot of the work back here in the back room. Yes. Taking the donations, this sorting them all out. Done. <laughs> and you're the guys to do it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you ladies. Yeah. I appreciate that. <laughs> The store is essentially run by volunteers. They put in so many hours processing donations, putting stuff out on the floor, helping customers, running the cash register. Without them, there would be no boutique. But I want to say that the, the main benefit I think many of those volunteers will tell you they get from coming to Partners in Care is the second family they've made with all the friends that they volunteer with. That's, that's the most beneficial thing I think for everybody here. Yeah, that's a good point to put out there, is that like there might be lonely in it? That is definitely why people come here, definitely. A lot of people don't have families at home anymore, and these are their families, and they'll go out together after work, or they'll make plans to get together, and they'll tell you that's why they love to come to our store.